reliability test in Excel for five point Likert scale questionnaire or survey using the Crompax Alpha equation. The equation is given below as alpha equal to k divided by k minus 1. k stands for the total number of questions or items in a survey or a questionnaire. Then this is multiplied by a bracket 1 minus the upper part of the formula is the sum of the variance for all the items the sum of the variance of the items or questions and that value is divided by the variance for the total score so the reliability test is a way of measuring the internal consistency of an item it will test how reliable is the questionnaire or a survey if it has been repeated on a different date and different time with the same participant their score or their response will be similar in different time period that is the essence of doing reliability test for a questionnaire and a survey it is an essential step a preliminary step when a individual is designing a questionnaire or a survey to test how reliable is the uh, survey or the questionnaire or as a whole the whole um, um, survey the way to do that in excel i have here inserted a sample of a response taking from a questionnaire or a survey that has been uh, given to 20 participant uh, answering 20 different questions or uh, items from item number one to item number 20 and the score or the responses of each individual participant was scaled on the five point Likert scale from one to five one indicates that the uh, participant is strongly disagreeing and a value of five means that the participant is strongly agreeing and the value of three reflects a neutral respond toward the uh, item or a question so here we have a data that is called ordinal so it's an order from one to two three four five and to determine the reliability of the test uh, to perform a reliability test for this uh, survey or questionnaire we're going to use the Crompax alpha formula given here and uh, the way to do that is first in this column going to generate a new column or data call it total score so in this column we're going to calculate the total score achieved by each individual participant i.e. combining the scores or the responses from each part for in each individual participant for all the questions and the way to do that is to click on the cell here then click on the sum here and then select the range from item number one to item number 20 and hit the enter key a value of 51 is generated to auto fill and auto calculate the total score for the rest of the participants select the cell here drag hold and drag and then release a value is generated for each individual participant the next step is to calculate the variance for each individual item or question and then the to variance for the total score and the way to do that is in this cell insert the equal sign 
and then type variance and select the variance S for sample. So we are going to uh, select the uh, variance, calculate the variance for a sample, as here we have a sample. If you double click on that and then select the range of the data for the 20 participant here for the item number one and hit the enter key, a value was generated for the variance for the first item. To auto fill and auto calculate the value of the variance for the rest of the questions, select, hold, drag, and I'm going to drag it toward the end as we are also here going to calculate the variance for the total score in addition to the variance for each individual item or questions. So now we had calculated the total score variance and then we have calculated the individual variance for each individual item. The next step is to add the variance for the um, items. So for these 20 items. And the way to do that here is select this cell then click on this sum symbol and then select the range for the value to add all the variance together and if you hit the enter key a value is generated for the sum of the uh, variance for the items and since we have here uh, the variance for the total score i'm going to select right click copy and then I'm going to paste that here next to this symbol of uh, um, uh, variance for uh, total score. And if I click on the link here, the value is inserted in this cell. And I'm going to uh, label this as, let's call it uh, I. Uh, or T for total since it is a total so we're going to select this and hopefully we try to make it a subscript uh, subscript click on OK uh, so we have now the value for this total variance for the total score for the K K represent the total number of items or questions and since here we have 20 I'm going to insert number 20 so now we have all the values for calculating the Cronbach's alpha and the value for all the part of the equation or parts of the equation. The way to calculate the and determine the value for the Cronbach's alpha in this cell, insert the equal sign and then uh, open a bracket, add 20 divided by 19 close the bracket, insert a multiplication sign, then open a bracket, insert number one, then minus sign, then select the upper part of the upper part value of the formula, which is this one. This will be divided by the lower part, which is the variance for the total score. Close the bracket and hit the enter key a value of 0 0.81 is generated. This value here, which I'm going to label red, is the reliability value, Cronbach's alpha value. So what does this value mean, 0.81? It, this value means that this survey is 81% reliable. If we uh, um, refer this value into this table and look at this table which shows the Cronbach's alpha value and the level of reliability as we can see here when the alpha value is equal to 0.9 or greater than 0.9 then the um, uh, questionnaire or the survey is excellent in reliability uh, a survey is considered to be good in reliability if the value of alpha is from 0.8 to 0.89 and uh, a questionnaire is acceptable when the value is from 0.7 to 0.79 
a questionnaire is questionable in reliability when the value for alpha is from 0.6 to 0.69 and the reliability is poor when the value ranges from 0.5 to 0.59 and the survey will be unacceptable the reliability will be unacceptable or the survey is unacceptable in reliability when the value for the alpha is less than 0.5 and since our value here is 0.81 which is in this range so the survey or the questionnaire they have a good reliability so this is the way to perform a reliability test in Excel and generate a value. The value of the um, uh, reliability is based on the Cronbach's alpha formula given here. And the value ranges from zero to one. Zero means that the survey or the questionnaire is unreliable. One means that the questionnaire or survey is extremely reliable and